wow, wow, wow. Okay. Everybody kept asking me about this bag. It's called the Think Tank Retrospective 7. It is soft and squishy. It's so very comfortable. This is the most comfortable camera bag on earth. Think Tank sells a lot of them. Um, I got my all access pass. I'm uh, shooting. There it is. Shooting an event. They liked my work well last year, so I was uh, hoofing it today. I gotta go back there tomorrow. Whew. That wears me out. Oh, um, I'm not into that sort of thing. I posted some pictures. I'll post some links below. I just did some crops of the shots. I didn't have time to edit them because I'm exhausted and I gotta do a lot of stuff tonight. Um, but I got some uh, pictures that I posted I thought you want to take a look at. Um, some famous people like Jewel State, and uh, she's an actress, and uh, um, another actor, and uh, uh, I love the movie The Dark Crystal. There was I didn't know it, but there was a guy inside the the old woman in The Dark Crystal, and it was a little person, and I ran into him, and I was like, oh, isn't that cool? I'm not into that whole, that whole convention. Uh, genre stuff, but I always loved that movie, so that was neat meeting him. Then I ran into, this is hilarious, I got a picture of him below, I'll post the link below, of Larry Elmore. He was my childhood hero of uh, artists. I mean, this was back in elementary school when I was like 12 or 13 or maybe even younger than that. Me and my buddy were reading, yeah, I know, Dragonlance novels, it's uh, sci-fi, it's fantasy, you know, dragons and stuff. And the cover art was always fascinating to us, and we loved this guy, Larry Elmore. And here it is, you know, like 30 years later or something. That dude has got more hair, and he's more spry and chipper than I am. I think he's 72. And uh, I, they had a calendar of his artwork, and it's so good. At least I loved it. He was my inspiration for artwork. And I just bumped into the guy. I had no idea the guy would be there. And I was talking to him for about 25 minutes or so. And I made him laugh his ass off. I said there was a calendar hanging on the wall with your artwork back in elementary school, and I got a fight with my best buddy over your calendar because I gave him five dollars to sell it to me. But he loved the artwork so much too that uh, he wouldn't sell it to me, and he kept it, and we got a fight over it. And that made him laugh his ass off. Um, you should check out his artwork. You may not like his artwork, but his artwork is undeniably really good. Larry Elmore. There's a picture of him below, and I took it like five hours, five or six hours ago today. And I was like, damn, you're my childhood icon. Your art is that fucking cat. I didn't say that. You know, he's an older dude. He didn't want to cuss in front of people that are your icons. I, I didn't cuss at all. I just said, oh, my God, you're my childhood icon. I don't get starstruck at all, and I didn't get starstruck with him either. Um, but uh, I told him that story about getting to, into a fight over his artwork on a calendar. Uh, when I was a teenager with my buddy named Stefan. I have no idea where he is now. And uh, that made him laugh his damn ass off. And that was hilarious. That was really cool. <laughs> it's like I met my childhood icon just by happenstance. Oh, I forgot too. I mean, I, I knew this when I was a teenager, but he's from Kentucky and he only lives. He was born in Louisville. But he only lives in, uh, I think, Litchfield, Kentucky. He only lives like 40 miles from here. He's in his uh, low 70s or 72 or 74 years old. His wife was right there. Anyway, he was signing his artwork, you know, for a big poster for like 50 bucks with a signature on it. It's beautiful, beautiful artwork. I wished I could draw and paint like him. I mean, he does a lot of uh, pencil sketches, and so that was really cool running into him. But he's, he's brighter and chipper than I am. I guess it's not the years, it's the mileage, right? It's the mileage. Um, I met Jewel State. Um, I didn't care about meeting anybody. I was just getting uh, some uh, headshots uh, for the event. And a bunch of other, you know, boring shots of, like, the crowds and stuff like that. I didn't post any of those pictures up because you guys don't want to see pictures of crowds. But, uh, according to my camera... I uh, took, uh, well, if you count the raw files and take that in half, I took a little over 600 pictures today. So I'm going to take even more than that tomorrow. And then it'll be over with. So, so. 
Jewel State is pretty. I loved her in a science fiction show. She was in Firefly. And uh, she was in Stargate Atlantis. I'm not really... I've seen most of the sci-fi shows, but I'm not an avid... I'm definitely not a, a Trekkie or a sci-fi nerd or anything like that. And uh, the convention, I'm not into that stuff, actually. I, I think I had, last time I had a comic book when I was, was like 15 years old. Um... Not that there's anything wrong with buying comic books at the age of 40. Or they don't call them comic books anymore. They call them graphic novels, right? Right, 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 right. Um, anyway, I did an excellent job. I did some uh, slap and hack, uh, chop and uh, contrast on like 15 shots below. I put the picture of Larry Elmore below. Check out his artwork. It's uh, really neat. I don't know why I made a video on this. I just thought it was kind of fun and interesting. Ran into some uh, neat people. Um, really neat people. Some of them are extra neat in that special sort of way. Yeah. Special. Special. <laughs> it's like, ooh, that's special. Um, I got pictures of that too. I'll upload that later. Maybe. Um, very interesting. It's supposed to be cold tomorrow. Thank God I'll be in Florida here in about six or seven days. So... At least I had no idea I'd run into Larry Elmore today. It was very interesting. Sorry, I guess I droned on needlessly in this video. That is totally my fault. It was still meeting the neat meeting the guy since he was my childhood art art guru. I always looked up to his artwork, would stare into his drawings and paintings like, wow, God, I wish I could draw like that, damn it. And uh, I told him the story about getting in fight, and that just made him laugh so hard, and that was so awesome. He laughed so hard, I thought I was going to give the old dude a heart attack. It was funny, though, nonetheless. Thanks for watching. Uh, my time is short today. My time is short tomorrow, too, for that matter. Time is shorter tomorrow. I'm exhausted. Thanks. Bye.